Rob Montgomery here at the Smart Film School in Berlin, Germany, with a quick tip for you. When you want to record video out of your A10 Mini into your Mac running Final Cut Pro, by default, Final Cut Pro does not recognize that video signal coming into your Mac as coming from a web camera. So there's no way to import. But if I showed you my Mac screen right now, that's going to go to Infinite Mirror. Don't freak out. But down in the right-hand corner, you can see I'm importing this video. It's coming live from my A10 Mini where I'm able to do live switching here. I can go to my show graphics anytime I'm driving the show. And that's what I need to do. I'm going to be recording tutorials. And I don't want to have to record it onto a separate recorder, then ingest that into Final Cut. So this saves a lot of time basically recording live to tape. So how do you do it? There's a really cool app, and you can get it from Prezi, P-R-E-Z-I. So Prezi, I think if I go there, I might be able to share with you. Yeah, here we go. So here's the screen of Prezi. Now, I'm sharing my Mac screen there. Uh, so that you can see Prezi. I've opened it up and created a new video. And by default, it will have video plus basically, you know, uh, slides that you can do. You can see that's what it would look like as it comes in. So if you want to preload your, your slides, your graphics, and just record that Prezi thing, that's pretty awesome just in and of itself. But if you want just to grab that video signal, which is what I want to do, I'm going to click on that icon there with the, just the person, okay? So then I don't need um, Prezi anymore. I can go into my Final Cut. Oh, yeah, it's going to go to the Invis. Just to show you, and I go Apple I, and I click on Import, and now I'm recording live to tape. So I could prepare my tutorials and uh, do my lesson, and I've got a beautiful master ready to go. And then I can just in Final Cut put over my, uh, my animations that I want to do or any kind of finishing uh, polishing. But it's a huge time saver to go direct to tape and keep all of your quality. So Prezi Video Editor is tip number one. There are some caveats. One is I find that after I do this and I record a few sessions, then let's say I go to do a Zoom session, Zoom doesn't recognize the ATEM Mini. So if that happens, I'll try the terminal command with the super user do to reset the, the video assistant. I'll share that in the description. So um, basically what I'm talking about is a, yeah, let me show you this. I've got it here. This is the, it's called sudo, sudo kill all VDCA assistant. So that is the terminal command. And if you open up the terminal app, and you just put that in and then you authenticate with your password that'll do a reset of the video system at the at the core level so if that doesn't make your camera reappear in zoom afterwards then i recommend what you have to do is unplug and replug in your a10 mini unplug it wait 30 seconds plug it back in reload your um xml file yeah and uh, your library uh, and then see if it works. If that doesn't work, then you're going to have to reboot your Mac. But for me, you know, I do a batch of these live to tape sessions. You know, I'm going to be recording several tutorials to refresh my mobile journalism course today. So I'm, I know what I'm in for, um, but I'm just going to save a lot of time, uh, even though I'm going to have that hassle at the end because I don't have to record and then ingest uh, and then transcode any video. It just goes right into Final Cut Pro. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial from the Smart Film School. My name is Rob Montgomery, and I wish you the best and happy filming.